Alright, hello everyone. So finally, we're going to go through and do our best to set up a very simple showroom render. So first of all, make sure you have a camera in your scene. Now to edit, you can't be selected with a bone, so shift A, add camera. And then we can just put this off to the side for now. So I also want to add in a cube. Scale it up, scale it out. Delete the top face right here. Delete faces. And then I want to flip of the normals. Now we can go over to modifiers, add a subdivision, modify it three or four times, add in two loop cuts here, two loop cuts there, and then we can scale it up some more. And this just gives us a uh, room to put it in. Then you know, obviously you want it to be floating some. And we'll probably scale this just a little bit more. Then we want to make the world color, I think I'm going to go with flat black, you can play with that too. And then hit the 5 key on your number pad to go to perspective mode up here on the top left. And then the cool thing about when you're in perspective mode is you can figure out where you want it to be shot at, hit control, alt, zero, and then it places the camera in that position for you. Zoom out just a little bit here. Now we've got to set this texture, so we want a... Uh, Nice black glossy texture, so under here, go to new, make this a mix shader here, I'll open it up in nodes, right up here, node editor, so have a mix shader, and then we want to add in a, another shader, we want a diffuse shader, and we also want a glossy shader, shader glossy here, make the glossy about black, make the diffuse about black, hook them together, we can look at our previous we want, um, we just want it to have just a little bit of shine here, turn the roughness down, and then here we'll give that a quick little render, we also need a light, so I prefer to use planes with emissions on them, so I add one here going across the top, new material, make it an emission, and then we will make it free for now. So if I go into my camera view here, um, it's, it's, probably, it's going to break my computer if I bring it into real time render right now, but what I can do is with, hold on here, getting just a little bit of lag, here we go. Um, with this I can go Shift B, and I can highlight just a small portion of it. I'm going to Rendered, and get a preview of how it looks. So, Shift B. So, um, obviously the light's a bit, a bit too bright up here. So we will make it, I don't know, 1.5 perhaps? And then I think the other issue is though that we just simply need a second light source. So Shift D, duplicate it, bring it over here, uh, make the median point again. Then we can rotate it down, rotate it around. Now, obviously our light's in the way, so if we go to our object settings with that light selected, and under ray visibility we turn off camera, so now it won't render with the camera. And we will view it real quick. And there we have it. A nice, simple render here. Bring it out all the way and do a quick little test. Yep, and there we have it. Your uh, very simple pod racer. Um, you know, there are much more advanced ways to set up these. Uh, you know, you can go follow a 40 minute tutorial on it, but I think I'm pretty okay with this for now. So then we can go over here, turn up your resolution, and then your sampling, make it a good, make it a good 300, uh, you know, give yourself some love. And that's about it for this tutorial, so, <clears throat> thank you all very much for watching and staying tuned, and I... I uh, really look forward to seeing what you guys came up with. So if you want to, feel free to link your final products or anything else. So, yep, once again, thank you.